here we are, just jumped on the train to London. Um, not far for us, uh, a little roach about, something to eat, something to drink. See what we find in the way, isn't it? Um, got a chick with me, say hello chick. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of architecture in London and there are lots of different things. Here we are, now look. Uh, so we'll see what we can find on the way. Got to add 18 quid for a small diet coke, small glass of wine and a pint of booze. Wow, look at this! Oxford Circus, Oxford Street. It's an anti-vaccination march. Uh, I'll tell you something, there's thousands in it, thousands and thousands. There's also some pro-Trump marches in it as well. I'm not sure what the connection is here. Someone can help me on that one. But, uh, yeah, big, big marches. Huh? The only thing is, none of these people are vaccinated, are they? You've got a good chance of catching COVID. <laughs> Yeah, not quite brickwork is it, but quite iconic where we are, the London Palladium. And then famous Carnaby Street that walk down here, have a little mud shops. There we go. Ah, that's what we're looking at, aren't we? It's a fine bit of brickwork up there, look at that. Soft red bricks, beautiful detail on them jacked arches. Um, they're in keystones. They've been made or they've been made or carved keystones. No one want to pay for that now, would they? The old Shakespeare's head. Uh, beautiful stone mullions on these uh, windows. Flemish bomb there. Uh, that point you can't really see from here, but it's blood pointing, like a cool Westminster smudge. We might find a closer example of that sometime. There you go, look at that. That arch done on the radius. I'd like to see someone do that nowadays. I'd give it a go, but yeah, I don't know. Beautiful. One above it. There you go, different pub now. Um, one pint of beer, one um, dry white wine, which is old uh, East London, Bethnal Green. Fuck that diet coat, we never got it this time, it's only £10.80. <laughs> Here we go, 51 Beak Street. Right, here's an example of um, glazed brickwork. Oh, what bomb we're English ones, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's how it's done, tight joints and that. I've done a little bit of this in some toilets in Germany many years ago. Um, but yeah, get a lot of this, a lot of, a lot of pubs had it on the outside. This probably was a pub at one time, I would imagine. I mean, this is a pub here. I would imagine the shops at corner is, and uh, we'll get back here. Some uh, beautiful details on them panels here. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, across the road I found a modern version of some uh, glazed brickwork. Uh, obviously the joints ain't so tight and quality ain't so good. Bit of a diver there, but yeah, it's a nice bit of work, isn't it? Ooh, don't get run over. Um, yeah, big building, glazed brickwork. Bit of old London stock work there. Nothing, nothing great about that, I can assure you. Different, isn't it? cobbling at the top there and that uh, these bricks are gaunt they're not from London they're from Cambridgeshire so I don't know when this house was built or this building was built but they would probably come down on trains or, or even on the canal I suppose I don't know um, we come along to here 
Uh, I don't know what the building's about at all, but look at that arch. Uh, there's some work in there, isn't there. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going, you know, when I was walking up there, I think ready for Carnaby Street. I'm not sure what that is either, green bricks. Mm. Let's see. You can't see that properly, and I can't, but um, that's London Yellow Stocks, and that has been tuck pointed. Um, we will try and find a better example of that somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's uh, quite typical Victorian stuff, that. Uh, there we go, move along the street a little bit. Ah, I don't think you see that now. That's uh, a better example of tuck Now you smell it on me. Different, there's some buff, that's fine gauge brickwork, that is. Not that fine, you know, like three mil joints, quite unusual, that. Um, and topped off with reds and that you know that's some really fine um, weather struck pointing that is no, it's a bit weathered now but yeah that's some grade one work that is yeah. beautiful arches there they're um well they're, they're sometimes called three centered arches but uh, there's different ways of doing them now to get the shape i can't tell from here i think you can put four and six centers to them to get it but um, that's gauge brick, brickwork mixed with, I'm guessing that's some kind of sandstone. I'm not an expert on stonework, but um, yeah, yeah, 1902 it says up there it was built. Okay, we pay for that now. Right, Great Wimble Street, West One. The Duke of Argyle. Um, this whole facade, or this front bit on the corner, um, it's all gauge brickwork. Out, I suppose. Um, yeah, some formidable building, stonework, yeah. Um, but it's funny, they, as uh, you come into the flank, it's a bit cheaper. Um, it's just uh, weather struck. It's still beautiful arches, isn't it? It really is. Come along here, build the next door a bit, same again, you know. Work at these arches, what these buildings had in them days. Uh, brickwork ain't fantastic, really, but yeah. Oh, you just go on, didn't you, really? Um, what we have here, look at this little place. I don't know what this is. So old parish primary school now, but um, what was it? I don't know. Yeah. Look at the detail and all that work. Gothic arches here. They're all um, gauged, gauged Gothic arches. And the, uh, the intrados of them is uh, all the same. Seems a bit of a mismatch in there, but yeah. But yeah, you know, I think the uh, the actual exterior brick won't let it down a bit, but come on. It's uh, Edward Geoffrey Lear of Derby or something. Whatever he did, the poles are there, all gauged. Uh, yeah, fantastic. And, uh, trying to find another pub, she keeps walking past them. Uh, there's the windmill, we're heading into Soho now. There's a pub. There's more pubs. She don't want to be in it. <laughs> Right. right, we're in Bow Street, um, obviously famous for Bow Street Magistrates, been there since the 1700s, it moved about a bit, I don't even know where the old building was being put on this, but um, yeah, Joel, just walking up to Royal Opera House, hey, how about that, I oh, know, no brickwork in it, but you know, fantastic isn't it, yeah, all along, obviously, uh, you know, no traffic in the middle of night. I'm no expert on architecture, but it's Greek, Roman, Greco Roman kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm not in opera myself, I don't know. There's girls waiting for me. Um, yeah, 
I don't know where the cop was. Oh, it's Bow Street Police Station, there you go. We found it. Yeah, we're going to drop you off at. Yeah. Who would imagine that the Metropolitan Police would spend this kind of money on a bit of stonework like that? That's quite a building. I'm not sure what it's used for now. I think it's a museum. Well, I'm guessing it's a museum. That's not a police station anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great London, isn't it? Great city in the world, I think. I've been to loads of capital cities. Um, nothing touches this. It really don't. Uh, yeah, London's a show, every city's a show, I've got a shit places in it, but this ain't. This is good. Alright, wrong call, we're trying to find an Italian. ZZ's, we're there. That uh, looks like they're queuing up, I don't do queuing for dinners. Um, yeah, anyway, back to loads of red bricks, mullions and that. Oh, yeah, look, I found it. Bow Street Magistrate Court. Ah, there it is. It ain't a Magistrate Court now. But, uh, yeah, all part of the police station, wasn't it? Blimey, a bit of history there. Fucking sure I did up there one night. Uh, anyway, uh, telephone boxes. Yeah, look, I bet there ain't no phones in them. <laughs> yeah, you'll be lucky. Oh, there is. Well, I'll be fucked. There's actually a phone in the phone boxes. Well, I'll never. Um, what brick have we got here? Yeah, it's the old um, it's that bottom struck in it, that upside down sort of weather struck point in it, but it's upside down. I said I said to you earlier, it's, we called it um, Bastard Edge, but I don't know, originally it probably all has different names. Um, someone's fucked that up and done it the wrong way. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I mean. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Look at that terrace there. Hiya, you're on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Uh, there's the Sun Tavern. Uh, yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, what's going on here then? Got a bit of glazed brickwork and then. See, see this, this, this weather struck point, you can see a lot of this in London, in black. Um, you know, it's really fine work, it's good stuff. Uh, and that all takes time, no, no fucking want to pay for that now, would they? Leave these bits will be filled in at a later date. Uh, I don't know if they're tax windows or what, you know, they've done a good job of that, haven't they? Uh, yeah, great stuff. Tell you what we've got here, let's have a look. Yeah, would have been a lot of work in them days, eh? I don't know. Different than what it is now, anyway. It, eh? Bashing up boxes. Uh, yeah. I've had a good day anyway. Um, we've had a few beers. Hopefully I've showed you a few things. Uh, I don't know, it's all pretty random. Problem is, um, all the brickwork's high level, because all the shops are like, you know, at the bottom and there's nothing to, to see, so I couldn't get anything close up, but um, anyway, we're going as easy as you have something to eat. See you later. <laughs>